Hello there, welcome to the world's most average YouTube channel. I'm your host Jeff, and today we're going to learn how to make cosmetic grade natural bamboo charcoal. Then we're going to use our homemade charcoal to make this stunning black charcoal soap. Let's dive right in and get started. Charcoal soap is great. From its striking color, loads of lather, and just the right amount of exfoliants, it's sure to be a crowd favorite. Why are we making charcoal ourselves instead of buying it? Well, why not? Charcoal for the barbecue won't work because it has binders and other unknown ingredients, and cosmetic charcoal available online is overpriced and also from unknown sources. So I set out to find a local source and learn to make it myself. So now let's watch as this raw bamboo gets churned into the key ingredient for our soap. Our bamboo charcoal starts as wild growing bamboo, harvested right from nature. The harvested trees are then left to dry for several weeks to make them brittle and easy to cut. The dried bamboo is then cut into small pieces so it will fit inside a cooking pot. The pieces are further split apart by a hammer so that they will cook more evenly. Once the cooking pot is full of bamboo, the pot lid is closed. Notice the lid is modified with a vent hole. This batch of bamboo is ready for the fire. The bamboo will be cooked in a homemade fire pit. The fire is started and fueled using bamboo trimmings and branches. We want to cook the bamboo over a high flame. As the bamboo cooks, white smoke and steam escape from the vent hole. This steam and smoke are the components of the bamboo burning off. By starving the fire of oxygen, the organic compounds escape the pot, but the carbon gets left behind. We monitor the cooking process, stoking the fire as needed to keep the heat up. After about 40 minutes of cooking, the smoke from the cooking pot is stopped, indicating the charcoal is done. We let the pot cool down for a further 15 minutes before opening it. And what was once bamboo is now pure carbon charcoal. Here's some of that charcoal I brought back home. But this charcoal needs to be further refined before we can use it to make soap. We need to pulverize it into dust. For the small quantities we're working with, I like to use a mortar and pestle, but you can also use things like a glass bottle inside a glass jar to crush the charcoal. For those of you looking for a more hands-off approach, you can use a rock tumbler like this one with ball bearings inside to automatically crush the charcoal. You want the charcoal powder to be as smooth as possible. Whichever method you choose, take your time with the grinding. It's a good idea to use a fine mesh sifter also to help separate any stubborn chunks and clumps. For this batch of soap, I'm going to use what I call my 30-30 recipe. It's my go-to personal favorite right now. It's 30% olive oil, 30% coconut oil, and 30% lard. Here's the recipe for you to copy down. It'll also be in the video description. We'll start by measuring out all of our oils into this mixing bowl. I've already measured them into these cups, so I'm just going to go ahead and start adding them now. We got our olive oil, our coconut oil, Uh, some of our lard, and the last of our lard. Now that all of our oils are in the bowl, we'll go ahead and put on our gloves and goggles, and we'll add our lye water to the mixture and get that soap process started. Once you have all the oils in the bowl, get your immersion blender ready. I got my mold ready, fragrance, and charcoal. The next process goes pretty fast, so make sure it's all ready to go before you start. Okay, and without further ado, we're going to go for it. Adding the lye water mixture to our oils. <laughs> on mixing. We're waiting for the soap to start thickening up and reach what we call trace. Alright, I'm starting. I'm starting to see some trace, so we're going to go ahead and add our charcoal. I'm going to do two tablespoons. I've already crushed this stuff up. So one and two big healthy spoonfuls. We're going to shut that lid. We'll start mixing it in. I'm going to get it all in there. 
For the scent for this soap today, we're going to use Serenity from Brambleberry. I'm going to do about half the bottle, which is two ounces. Perfect. Mix that. Fragrance has a very floral scent. Almost reminds me of potpourri. I don't know how serene I'm feeling. Once you've mixed the charcoal and the your scent in, and it's starting to thicken up, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our mold. Got the mold here. Beautiful black color on this soap. Alright, once you have the soap inside the mold like this, we'll put plastic wrap on top of it and leave it to cure overnight. And by the magic of already doing it, here's a batch of soap that I did yesterday that cured overnight. And we're going to go ahead and take it out of the mold and slice it. Alright. This one churned out a little bit lighter than I think the new one's going to churn out. I'm not sure why. Let me get my cutter. My super soap cutter. And... Right about there. Look at these beautiful bars of black charcoal soap. Leave them on a shelf somewhere in a closet where they won't be in the way. Leave them for about four weeks to cure before using them. That allows all of the chemicals to neutralize and makes the soap nice and firm and it won't dissolve in water as easily anymore. And here's the final product. From wild growing bamboo to this luxurious soap. If you made it this far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. Until I see you again, thanks for watching.